Hi, it's Lib Edmonds here. I'm checking in for Life the Basic Manual. What I'd like to talk with you about today is a survival kit for disaster. Um, I live in Christchurch, New Zealand. We've had uh, pretty big earthquakes over the past six years and last Sunday night there was a massive quake that affected, shook the whole country. Um, it was centred maybe 200k up the road from where we live but uh, we certainly felt it and it took us back to our really big earthquakes in 2010 and 2011. The next morning after the event we go and have a look at our survival kit that now is five years old and it looked like a science experiment. So uh, this weekend we've um, set about rebuilding our survival kit that we will keep in our garage. Um, we've talked about should it be in a car or should it be at home and we've agreed that we'll have it at home. Um, and the goal is if there is a disaster that we all try to get home as quickly as we possibly can. Being mindful there will be no telephones, no cell phones, probably no power, probably no ATMs um, and no capacity to probably gas your car. So what have, what have we got for our survival kit? We've got a gas cooker. Um, we've got a four-pack butane gas cartridge, They're kind of like spray cans, and you plug into uh, the gas cooker. We've got a saucepan so that we can heat water with a lid. We've got um, a fry pan, we can cook food. We've got a coffee machine, because I really like coffee. We've got a hand grinder. We've got coffee beans. We've got a first aid kit. We've got hand sanitizer. We've got toilet paper. We've got plastic bags to put toilet paper into because there's not going to be any flushing toilets um, and you do need to go when you need to go and you need to be able to go somewhere where you can keep your waste. So plastic bags was it during the 2011 quakes when we didn't have flushing water for some time. So it needs must. Um, we've also got tissues, torches, matches. Um, I've talked about hand sanitizer, we've got some antiseptic cream, toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, moisturiser because you know one needs to keep one's skin looking good even in disaster times, um, batteries, water. Water's really key and um, you can't, I don't think we can estimate how much water we actually use. We've got probably four litres at the moment but that would go in a day because you'd be drinking, you'd be heating things up. Um, so being able to have access to water is really important as well. Uh, we also bought some blankets, um, we'll get some tinned food, so non-perishables, uh, things that I guess you can update, uh, and then money. If you can afford it, have some cash, either in your survival kit or in your pocket, because cash becomes um, the way to broker what you need to do. Uh, be mindful that you'll have food in your fridge and freezer that will be defrosting, thawing, so try and use that first. Uh, a good way to get rid of what's in your freezer is invite other people over. We've got a gas barbecue, um, so we cooked a lot of food on the barbecue. It's been creative, and uh, I guess it's really trying to reach out and look after your mates as well. So that's my tips for a survival kit for an earthquake kit. Um, I'm sure that you will have more, and hopefully you'll consider adding to this uh, video for Life the Basic Manual. Thank you for letting me have a chat with you today. All the best.